What I noticed in going through some of the paperwork that I got to see, the accusations against your husband are not nice. No. And they're not true. They're not true. And they're now also that she's tried to gave, make accusations against me also. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And so here you are having to defend yourself. Has this cost you a lot of money to defend yourself? Extreme. My husband has spent so much money. It's not even real. I mean, yeah. we, we could have bought three, four houses with the money that he spent. Wow. Yes, it's, it's insane and sad. So are you saying that at the same time that there's something about the system that is almost abusive? It's completely abusive. There is, you know, and I'm, I'm being very vocal on it. Right. With social media, I'm not staying quiet anymore because I just feel like there's no hope. There's no justice for those kids, for us, for him. There is no justice. It's the person that has the most money and that can file and has a good lawyer mm -hmm. is a person that is going to get what they want. So what I also saw in, 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 the, in the stuff that I read, it looked like certain accusations were made again and again and again. They were investigated, they were found to be false. Then they were refiled, they were investigated, found to be false again. They were refiled, I believe it was over 30 times. Yes. Is that correct? Just a month ago, um, that there was accusations, CPS went to the hearing, mm -hmm. said that there was no, that they were not going to open the file, mm -hmm. that the file was closed completely, mm -hmm. that there was no doubts or questions, and here we are again. And here we are again, and here we are again. Do you think that the mother of the girls realizes how much damage she is doing to the girls? I mean, because what she's doing is, she's expressing hatred toward you two but she's victimizing the children. Do you think she has any knowledge of that? I want to, the spiritual good side of me wants to say that she does. I want to be hopeful mm -hmm. because that's who I am as a person. Right. You know, and I want to stay hopeful that she just doesn't know what she's doing and right. that she's just so mentally ill. Mm -hmm. that she hasn't gotten the help that she needs. Right. But there's also the other part of me that I've seen so much that I just like, it maybe she just likes it. Yeah. So, I mean, there's the whole idea that Jesus on the cross mm -hmm. saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Exactly. But there's, you know, I think a lot of people can, can even embrace that. But why do I have to keep paying for it? Exactly. You know, if she's making these false accusations and you have to defend yourself, and it takes time, it takes money, it takes energy. And at the same time, what really shocked me today, because I went up there to, to watch the, uh, the, the hearing itself, to see what was gonna happen, and there was one person, a police officer, who was not there, so the judge made this a continuance. Exactly. And the judge, without any evidence, without any proof, in fact, all the evidence would say that there would be no reason whatsoever that there should be a temporary restraining order put upon your husband. Now that temporary restraining order has been extended for another six weeks so he cannot see his children at Christmas. Yes, or, and we just lost Thanksgiving with them too. We just lost Thanksgiving as well. And not only that, but there was over 10 uh, specialists there, not just any witnesses like right. us. Yeah. that my husband had to pay to be there, two of his lawyers to be there. So all the fees that he invested in didn't matter. And right. when, they, when she was, and when the judge was asked by the lawyer about what about, you know, his client's fees and all the money that my, that he had spent for the day to prepare, she didn't care. She didn't care. And that's what I saw too. And I was, it, it really, I was sitting there yes. as somebody, this is the first time that I met you and your husband today and I my blood was boiling it was too I just, but I've seen this so many times and sh for his ex she has the money for her this is a, a play day but my husband is a very hard-working man that yes. he he came from a very humble family right and my husband's worked tooth and nail to get where he's at and we are both very hard-working people we are not rich mm -hmm. we just love his kids and he has been fighting for those girls for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's really a shame. Uh, as far as the, um, the attorneys, um, 
I met the attorneys for your husband and I love them. Yes, they're they're not only attorneys. They are good people. They are good they people. They are friends. Yes. They become friends. They care. Yeah. They are frustrated with, with yeah. it all too. Yeah. But I also saw the attorneys from the other side and they come from a law firm. I'll mention the law firm. Yeah. Coons Fuller. I saw what Coons Fuller did at the Save James trial. I saw the what I thought was deceitfulness. I looked at their website. They always say that there's two sides to every story. In other words, who's going to pay us the most money and we'll take your side of the story. Exactly. I did not see them to be people of integrity. Um, I'm not saying that whether your opinions are that way or not, but that was my opinion. And you know, in the courtroom, you hear a lot of times the phrase, the best interest of the children. And I heard that today. I don't know what it was, was when I was listening to your husband's case, maybe it was somebody else, but they talked about is what is in the best interest of the children. It was the judge. It was the judge mm -hmm. who said that. But I don't even know if the judge, I think it's just a phrase that she uses because none of this stuff is in the best interest of no, the children. No, none of it. No, if it was the best interest of the, of the children, they would never let a case go 10 years. Right, And right. let these kids suffer for 10 years. Now, this judge, how long has she been the judge? She's been our judge, I think, for the last two years. Okay, was there anybody, so you say two years, but this has been going on for 10 years. So how many judges have there been? I'm not for sure, but I think this is the second or third judge. Okay. Because since she, since you've known him, since yes, you've been married. Because the problem is that she, his ex, would continue to change the 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 courts when she would when she wouldn't get what she wanted, she changed to another county. Oh and you know the, the other thing that I heard about this which really surprised me a bit is that she is also shopping for psychologists or therapists to actually do her dirty work. Oh yeah. So she's not filing the charges with CPS against your husband, but she is going to a psychologist or a therapist or a counselor of some sort, telling her story again and again and again. And now the the person who is listening to her thinks, I have a duty to report this person. Exactly. It's complete manipulation. Yep, and she plays the victim. And I also heard that one of these uh, therapists or psychologists um, actually falsified records against your husband. Um, said that he did certain things and I saw the receipts. He wasn't even in town at the time. Yep. And uh, it just, it's, it's very unethical yeah. what's going on here. Um, so looking at these attorneys, looking at the therapists um, and the people that they will hire mm -hmm. to, to tell their own story, um, from, as an outsider, coming from outside the country. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the American judicial system in the courts? I actually thought that it was only crooked in my country. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're saying your country looks pretty good compared it to looks ours. pretty good, but yes. I would say, you know, if I ever heard of anything, nothing like this, yes. but stuff happened in my country, yeah. we'd always be like, oh, this just happens here. But now, I'm the things that I have seen happen in my husband's yeah. file or his story, Yeah are from a movie, like yeah. a, one of those really good movies. Yeah, yeah. Like he could make a movie. Yeah, but you look at these courts and these courts are horrid. Horrible. And um, I mean, they're just really bad.